It's Sunday afternoon and I thought I would just quickly show how to use my wide panel crosscut jig. Uh, given the comments that I got on it, there is some confusion as to how it would be used to square up a panel. Now, after I made the video, I added this bar here to the end, which is kind of self-squaring. Although I wouldn't rely on this to square a panel, a wide panel like I have here. It's just not accurate enough, or it may not be accurate enough. I haven't even tried it yet because I don't anticipate using it very much. I just thought I would add it to the thing, take a picture of it, and put it in the build article as additional information, another option if you want to go that way. So I have here the piece of plywood that I ripped uh, the edge off on a taper to kind of show um, it being used in the video. And um, that didn't square the panel actually, that made the panel out of the square. So what I have here now is this side over here, square factory edge. I think this is the factory corner here. And then the other side tapers this way. So to cut this square again, because it's not really that long, I could use the fence on a table saw, but I'm gonna demonstrate how to use the square to lay this out square. This panel is 36 inches wide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my square and I'm gonna square off one side and make a mark to the middle. And then I'm gonna square off the other side, but what I'm gonna do is line up the square right at that middle point. And that'll give me marks on both ends that I can line up with my jig. So what that gives me is a line that's squared to these two edges here. And these two edges need to be parallel with each other. I mean, there's only so many problems you can deal with at a time. And that will line up with the marks that are in the jig. All I need to do is transfer what I see on the bottom here to the edge so that I can see it while I slip it in. Now when I get it closed, I'm just going to tighten down the clamping bar to hold it in place and then I can flip it over and visually look at that line to make sure that it lines up with the edge of the jig. And make adjustments as I need to. And I can see that this looks pretty good actually. This might have to come out a little bit. And then I can fully tighten it and then I can make my cut. Okay, so that's one way, um, nothing difficult about that at all, but there are other ways to do it. Like I said, you can add that squaring bar to the jig and rely on that. I really wouldn't do it though. Now with a wider panel, say a longer panel than this, one that you couldn't cut on your table saw, like I said, you could actually cut this one down to size. But if you have one that's um, too long for that, you can measure from the edge and just position the panel in the jig, like so, and then measure underneath over to the back side of the jig and then make the two sides match. And that will give you something that's square as well as long as the back edge is square. That's what I, one of the things you have to know about the thing you're working with, what's square and what's not. And that's where this tool here comes in handy. You can use this to check and also to lay out. Um, if you're at all concerned about how precise the cut is, maybe you should give up woodworking. <laughs> But you can check that again uh, by measuring the diagonals. Here I have 39 and 5 eighths. And over here I have 39 and 5 eighths exactly. So you know that this panel is square. If it was not square, then those measurements would be different. So you can check that 
after you're done, make adjustments as you need to. Obviously, when you're doing this work here with this jig, what you're doing is you're prepping stock. You're not doing any finished cuts with this. You're taking the panels that you either rough cut with a jigsaw or a circular saw, and you're squaring them up before you cut them to final size on the table saw. More or less just to satisfy my own curiosity, I'm going to test and see how close my steel fence over here will make the cut. So I'm going to push the panel up tight to it this way and then clamp it down. Like I say, I didn't spend any time whatsoever setting that up. So it's probably not perfect, but I don't think it's that far off. We're about to find out anyway. Okay, it looks pretty close. I've got my calipers here to measure it. Make sure they're zeroed. Not that it matters. It's comparison. Okay. 45 thousandths. 55,000 so I'm 10 thousandths of an inch off on this cut so that's not too bad actually just for more or less eyeballing it all I did was took the square and put it up against the edge of the jig and I squared that piece of steel to it now it has two screws that I could loosen the back one push it in further because that's where it needs to go it needs to go this way on the end which is, I, I actually had a feeling that it would, <laughs> even before I did this. But that's not bad. Ten thousandths in the difference. So I would say I could almost live with that. But I think that even just tapping it, a couple of sharp cracks like that will move it enough that it may actually fix that, you know, difference there. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. I need to put a hole in this somewhere so I can hang it up. Somewhere.